Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be revisiting another old idea of mine. Um, so this, let me think of what I called it. Uh, vertical belly band pocket? Window envelope pocket? Something like that. Anyways, I'll call it the same thing as what I did the last time and do part two. Uh, so with this one, let me find my ruler. I, I just had it. There it is. So the pocket on this window envelope is about four and three eighths and so with that I added three eighths of an inch to this side three eighths of an inch to this side which then leaves me with about five and a fourth almost yep and then I added I didn't write it down what did I add here three fourths of an inch to the top three fourths of an inch to the bottom and then from there you add three eighths to the bottom three eighths to the side and three eighths to this side, creating our flaps. So once you cut it out, and I'll go ahead and pull this up a little bit closer so you can see it. If you need to pause it while you mark your own. And you, once you cut it out, you end up with this. And then you just fold the flaps, this one over, this one over, this one over, and then you are going to cut, let me go ahead and cut this one out on camera so I can show you the next step. I wasn't thinking. Okay, we're going to cut this out. Just trying to explain that next step is a little bit difficult without, without showing you. So let's go ahead and cut this out. Okay, cut this little corner off. We need to do something with the back piece once we get this cut. And yes, you're cutting through both layers of your envelope. Okay. So now that we got that all cut, you need to take your back piece, ruler, and a pencil, and you need to remove that extra 3 8 that we added. So from here, that needs to be cut off. This needs to be cut. And this needs to be cut. So we cut all this off. this off. And you can either fold your flaps around this piece, which will then make you not need to trim any more down, but I, what I ended up doing is I folded all my flaps, and then uh, I tried to put the back piece back in, which meant that the back piece was a little bit too big. Just ever so slightly. See how it's kind of bending? Well, that one I guess cut out really well. Well, if, anyways, if it ends up being slightly too big, just trim a little bit off the top or the side, wherever you need to. That one, it didn't happen to me, so I can't really explain that very much more than that. Okay, so we're going to set these two pieces aside. And move my ruler and my pencil. And I actually need one of these as well. Okay, so now we need our glue paper. And we need to start gluing some stuff down. So I got some wallpaper here, which I think is really pretty and I really like using it. So we're going to use some of that. I'm just using my glue stick. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I need you to do what I need you to do. Okay, so there's that piece. Let's use some of this pretty rainbow paper that is my painted page from using watercolors, uh, Crayola watercolors more specifically. And I do have tutorials up on my channel how I made these painted pages. Um, let's see here. Nope, I don't want that piece.
I'm just looking through my scraps trying to figure out which piece I want next. I'd like a solid color. Solid color. Can we do orange? Let's do orange. I don't know why I put so much glue on that again. Okay. Oh, look, we should have used this one. It's all sparkly. Let's use some of that. Let's put that right there. I, and throughout this journal, I have not used any digitals. That was the challenge on this journal that I made for myself. No digitals. So all of it was either wallpaper, my painted pages. Like this piece, I think it's like a colored copy paper or something. This came, I think, in a pack from the dollar store. Pack of paper. Um, so that's, anyways, what I've been up to with this journal. Let's see. This is some embossed cardstock. We could use some of that scrappy bit. We're gonna trim this down. Okay, we're gonna need some, I guess, art glitter glue on this piece because it's it's not sticking. I don't know what it still is. Oh, I think I glued the wrong side. <laughs> Whoops, the other side looks brighter and more sparkly. I do that often. Nobody else knows. As long as you don't tell nobody, nobody will know. See, that's how that works. Doesn't matter that my, you know, 700 subscribers know, but just as long as you guys don't tell anybody, nobody will know. See, the thing about it is, as artists, we know that we make these mistakes and we don't tell anybody and then they don't, they don't have any idea that it's there unless we tell them. Okay, why am I not being able to cut through this? That card stuck thick. Some thick stuff. Don't throw away any of those scraps that we just cut off because guess what we're going to do with them? Collage with them. Make more envelope pocket thingies, whatever, I don't know. Maybe make some journal cards, maybe a master board. They got plenty of use, it, just don't throw them away. Okay, so I need a big piece for this to cover this back piece. Um, I think we're going to have to get my bag of papers for this journal because. Uh, my little scrappy bits ain't gonna work. What about this? This wallpaper is so pretty. Let's use that. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do with this one is I'm gonna put the glue on this piece so that I don't end up with too much glue all over the place. Okay, unstick from my glue page, thank you. We're just gonna stick this down just like so. Okay, now we're kind of done with the blue stick, as far as I know. Nope. So then we're so we're gonna put our lid back on, so we don't dry out our glue stick. I've never had it happen, but apparently it can. But I've never, you know, left it out either, really. So I'm not gonna leave it out to find out. I'll try not to, anyways. Saying goes waste not want not. So no, as long as I've turned around that correctly, it'll still fit. Move this scrappy bit out of our way. We need to ink this black ink. You can use vintage photo. I'm just, I've always, for this journal, I've continuously used black ink, so that's what we're doing. I like how it kind of makes the colors pop. Instead of the vintage photo, kind of, I'd say, mutes them. If that makes sense. 
and I'd like to try to go around this edge ever so slightly. Blend everything together. Okay, a bit of our ink. Get our art glitter glue. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. So put that in there just like so. We'll need to trim at the top. You can already tell that one. It's not a big deal. Can okay, you fold that over? Fold this edge over. Looks like I might have not cut it down as well as I should have, but it is what it is. Okay, get some glue over that. Yeah. Either I didn't cut it down as well as I just didn't fold it over enough. But either way, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. No worries. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to cut the divot out before we did all that. Whoops. Sorry for bumping the camera. I forgot to get my, my punch out. I'll be using an oval punch for this as long as I can get it in now. Let's see here. Can we do it? Come on. There we go. If you have a circle punch, I recommend using a circle punch, but I don't have a circle punch, so I'm using this one. Okay, I'm just, I want to make sure that's center and, well, to be honest with you, I'm struggling. And it's not, it's not center at all. Okay. Let's see if we can fix that. Just make it a little bit bigger. No, I'm just making a mess of it. We're just going to cover that up. We'll resolve that problem. Let's see. That's not the right bag. Okay. So let's see what we can decorate this up with. Maybe we should put some fabric there. I was thinking about maybe one of these birds again. Let's see here. How does this thing open? Oh, there it is. Come on. Really? The birds must not want to come out of their home today. So, anyways, I was thinking about maybe this dark blue bird looks quite nice. I think. What are we going to do with that top? <laughs> that's the question. Let me set this right here since that's what we're probably going to do. I need something to cover up the top that's going to bother me. Solves the issue. Um, let's see. Let's pull this out. Try not to bump the camera. Do I have some lace? Something. I bet this would work really well. Actually, let's find the edge of this. Where's my fabric scissors? Really? I just had this. There they are. Let's come some of this fabric. Use this on the spine so it'll go really well in the journal. Be all matchy matchy. Okay. Down like 
like so maybe let's go ahead and just glue it we'll see we'll go from there this edge off. Okay, and then we're going to flip it over and trim it down to the size of the pocket so I guess this round I'm going to show you how to fix a mistake might be taking a little bit too long to do so but you know it is what it is okay maybe that there maybe the birdie there so we're going to stick down the birdie because I like it I think it's cute. Okay, well, let's, let's do that better. Can if it'll let us. Okay, and then we're gonna glue this piece over here. Okay, so there's that and now we still need to make the piece that's going in it and we may have to do that in a different video because we are running along um so let me just move some stuff out of the way here real quick we'll see which page in our journal we want to put this on sorry pearly world she's over on my bed and i'm laying stuff all around her <laughs> little pearl or little white chihuahua She thinks my bed is now her bed. Anybody else have dogs like that? Or animals like that? They think your bed is theirs. It belongs to them. Okay, well that looks really nice there. Let's see. We could go either side. But because of that bird's tail sticking out, I think we'll go to this side. I think we can go either side. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down. You could use it as a belly band, you can use it as a pocket. I've got so many belly bands already throughout this journal. I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on as a belly band, yeah, because it's already a pocket um, in and of itself. So make it make it fulfill two purposes in this journal. But I'm gonna, I want it up higher. I don't want it to be just in the middle, like most belly bands. So anyways, oh no, that's gonna unravel on me. I didn't think about that. Anyways, so that's that pocket there, and then we got a belly band here. I'll uh, try to put some of that fray stuff on that. Hopefully it'll hopefully it'll work, and I won't mess anything else up. Um. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video, even though uh, I was a bit of a mess in this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I hope that you will join me. <laughs> Whoops, I hope that you'll join me in my next video. Bye. Have a blessed day.